All right, here we go. Episode three. We're just starting. I won the second challenge, and I pulled Chris's clue. I tried to figure out on my own. We think Chris's celebrity relative is Nicolas Cage. Puppy love shirt, and I something leave seven shirts. Okay, so for people that said that before about the idol, is that a movie with Nicolas Cage or something? You think she's oh, wrong? No. Donny oh. Osmond? <laughs> something, something. What are these things mm. called? Leave mm. seven shirts. There's nothing happening in my right Nothing. It's probably a song. A song? Teen Idol. Yes. Seven. And I, I rush and leave. Oh, no. And I rush and leave seven shirts. Not seven shirts, but I rush and leave something. <laughs> we both were very confused. No, we Puppy Love was change. a song he sang. Oh. Wait, song now we're getting somewhere with Donny Osmond. I see what you're saying. Please. All right, so it's probably Donny Osmond confirmed then. What's the best gift that you've gotten? It definitely ain't nothing material. Are you someone who would want diamonds? Yeah, I value nice things, but it's not something I would probably spend too much of my own money on. Absolutely. My brother, I've been working for him all year, carrying his bags, making sure all his practice gear is, you know what I mean? And um, he goes to this jewelry store. It's like Valentine's Day, but he's dating like four different girls. Oh wait, someone's okay with it? From what it seemed like. He buys each one of these girls these matching Bracelets. Don't buy matching. That's yeah. a bad call. He's buying this thing. And I'm like, you gonna buy this? And he's telling me who the girls is. Yeah, that's for this. One of them's like the general manager's daughter. And one yeah. of them's like his personal assistant. And it's yeah. like, aren't they gonna know this? Like, it's like, yeah, I'm marking my territory so they know who they belong to. Gabriel's a dog. He's lying right now. That's his story. That's something he does. Sly dog. I see right through you. I'm looking at my celebrity relative like, it's obvious this guy is very generous, but at the same time, very territorial, selfish, and um, collector of nice things. <laughs> that is some crazy behavior. <laughs> it's so like, obvious, cool. like Gabe is football cool, cool. because there's so many football things. And his clues point to an athlete based on his two truths and a lie. I don't know who it would relate to, but his celebrity relative is a player. Yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> but the crazy thing was to see the girl proudly, well, you got yours, and <laughs> it's like, he really knows what he's doing. Man. It's that it's that football check. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. the check. I don't know anything about football. How am I supposed to know? Bro, can you me and you? 100. You go with the dogs out, baby. So I got like two definite. Two definite who? Shane and Chris. Shane is for sure. Eddie Murphy. Huh? Would you vote Shane and Chris? I don't Say know. Say Chris. <laughs> if it's between me and her, <laughs> hell yeah. And then Chris is. Cage, I'm positive. You're positive. Okay. I'm positive. Oh, he's wrong. What makes you positive? Dude, there's cage-free eggs. They have the Washington Monument. Things like Ghost Rider, Declaration of Independence <laughs> type clues. Do you have any idea who Jane is? I think it's her mom. I think it's her rocks. Who? You remember the clue wall? The wigs and the lightning bullet. Well, who is that person? I think it's a 70s female rock star with like big hair. Jane almost certainly is a musician. I see her. Uh, Hugo is smarter than me. I didn't put together any of that. Rock Dolly star. Parton. I know she was a guest for everyone. Though. Oh yeah, she, she was one with the guess. uke. Colleen Bellinger. When I went to bed mm -hmm. and you told me a clue, mm -hmm. two words, I wanted to vomit mm -hmm. last night. Before I went to sleep, Monet, who had been keeping a clue to herself, uttered two words that sent chills down my spine. Did it tell you anything? Girl, puppy loves something. Hmm? Puppy loves shirt. Hmm? Puppy Love. So that what? was my celebrity's first single on the charts. I believe she pulled my clue. I was gonna say something like that. Hold on, wait. But if Nicolas Cage is right for Chris, and she's Donny Osmond's, I don't know why Puppy Love would be on Chris's clue. I don't get that, but what if it's not? Okay, well, I just, I would like to throw ideas out there. I don't know. Fuck you guys. Shane, to protect yourselves, you pulled mine. I didn't pull your clue. I'm pretty certain you pulled mine. Please tell her who you pulled. Oh my hey, God. Dane, <laughs> listen, Dane, listen. No, it's okay, it's okay. It didn't tell her whose clue I pulled. And now Lady Jane is uh, kind of spiraling. Paul Anka? Who the fuck's Paul Anka? Oh, Donny Osmond also as well. Oh, I see. So Donny Osmond was right for Chris. That still is right. But there's another puppy love by Paul Anka. Interesting. What a coincidence that there's two people here with puppy love songs. Listen, Dane, listen, listen. I'm not gonna get mad at you, but I don't like repeating myself a bunch of times. The theme of this game is literally paranoia. I did not pull your clue. I do not believe her. 
I feel they are coming for me and seeing also me as born, a Also born, yeah, born in like the 1940s, which is what she said. Should yeah. they get me out of the house sooner rather than later? All right, we got two that down. This is going to fall into chaos. Yeah. No, the house is in chaos with you in it. The house is more in chaos with you in it. We need to get you out for the house to be more chill. I hate that. <laughs> Make her go crazy. I tell her three times I'm not worried about you. But if you want to go crazy and psych yourself out, then let her do that. Hey! Who are we missing? Chilling. Cole and Jane. The yeah, for Jane? Sure. <laughs> Cole is that? never around. He's okay. plotting something. Okay. Cole's whole game plan is you'll never know my celebrity relative because you're never going to know me. You'll never have the chance to see me or talk to me. She's okay. obviously paranoid. She's going to assume it's her. Now. Yeah, but I told her to face three times. You picked it. If you want to share, you'll share. Whatever. As I said, yeah. I told her the same thing. No, she's freaking out, obviously. <laughs> my strategy is to start paranoia. So, you know, I'm involved, but like arm's length involved, you know? Close that door, please. Because you've not been in the bottom yet, and because oh, you've not had someone actually make you suspicious. Someone finally that approaches feeling. him. Feels like when you find out you've been cheated on. <laughs> but she heard something. She said there's that something was like... that you said that made her know that you picked her clue. And it was almost a direct hint at who her person was. Do you know what you think that you said? I said puppy, a dog. They're never gonna figure this puppy. out. A dog. Monet oh, now he's forgetting. There's a puppy on that clue. <laughs> I said to her, I will tell you again, I'm not worried. Oh, shit. Clearly, she's. I know. No matter what you said. Do I, I'm not, again, I'm not really. That's kind of funny that they have I'm, a I'm not confusion like that. Right. I have to leave the room because I'm almost certain that that's my clue. Can I? jump in here please this okay. is actually this is so good for him though if chris is really smart about this then he instigates on the whole puppy thing to jane right now and gets some information and tries to like make her suspicious that her clue got picked let's go What's chris that face uh oh i think she pulled my clue you're kidding me Oh, don't well, say that. Asked, what no, was the idiots. thing that you said? No. Oh, I thought he was going to play it so much better than that. <laughs> you don't go in and say that. Oh, you fool. Jane was freaking out. You don't. Uh... And she said this one thing that you oh, probably he's too know what honest. it is. Mm -hmm. But that's a oh, huge identifying honest. clue into mine. No. Chris, you idiot. Are you serious? You I'm idiot. I'm serious. Oh, I'm losing my mind. Word. This is a show of deception. Why would you do that? Why would you tell her that? She's the other person. Why would you do that? Let her be paranoid, Chris. I am. Oh, he's too nice to a fault. Oh, that's brutal to watch. That is but hard to watch. Like, so I am a little scared. Welcome to the club. But that should make you feel like it may not be yours. <sighs> I can only assume that Monet has picked my clue. I could be in trouble. Oh man, Zero I'm reason I to tell her that. She said that because that was probably pretty obvious. No, what's pretty obvious is you just told two other people that are going to tell everybody else. That's the obvious part, Chris. Oh my lord. Oh my god. God damn it, Chris. He's Think my about pain. having a famous celebrity relative. Here you go. All right, sometimes Frankie. Sometimes their head can get a little big. Here you go. And you know, it's my job to keep them humble. Uh, Frank Glenn, sorry, I didn't realize we started already. What's this? It's your old headshot. Dusted it off for the headshot challenge. No, we talked about this. Not again, Franklin. Gosh. In our next challenge, the players are gonna have to take some strategic shots in order to protect their celebrity relatives' identities, and their heads are on the line, literally. Come on, let's go find the players. There's a like reason Lord Franklin Parker. and Kevin have no chemistry. It's because they haven't hung out their entire life besides this show. Welcome back, everybody. So I hope everybody is very well rested and maybe had their morning cup of coffee because this is going to be your first team challenge. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. I like the Cole idea is of starting a team to look kind of familiar. as long as I I'm what. a team captain. I feel like I'm super exposed, so I need to get immunity, and there's a higher chance of me being able to win with the team. Today, in order to dodge revealing family secrets, you're going to have to shield your headshots from... Flying paint-soaked balls! Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! And they will be launched via slingshot. 
Okay. You know what I don't like about the show? Here's what I don't like. I love the moments of like clearly like real tension between everybody as they like are fucking narcissistic trying to stay on the show. But then they have like these cheesy ass dialogue games and eh, that's the part of reality shows I've never liked a lot, but it's okay still. I still like it. The 10 of you will be split into two teams of five. Maybe it's just when the Jonas on Brothers team, are on screen. I don't like it as much. Different. Three players will act as defense protecting your precious headshots and two players on each team will operate the slingshot, launching the balls. If your headshot gets hit and falls, you're out and you have to leave the field. If you're a slinger and you get out, the captain gets to decide who to send back in that slinger's position. And the first team to knock down all five of the other team's headshots wins. All five players of the losing team will have clues Yeah, I revealed. keep forgetting we do have that guy who's still on a crutch and has a cast, and he's just getting boned in these fucking these games. Inside this box, there are 10 ping pong balls. If you draw blue or green, you will be the team captain. And with that, captain's glory comes a lot of responsibility because if you're the captain of the winning team, you will be the one player who has immunity at the guess off. And you'll get a winner's clue of your choice. But if you're the captain of the losing team, you'll officially be in the bottom two. Oh. And you'll have to choose a fellow player from your own team to join you. Dang. Brutal. I would love to be captain because of the immunity and winner's clue, but I think I'd rather fly under the radar. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Because my number one plan is to never, ever be in the bottom two again. I don't think I want to be the cat. Y'all being so mean to fucking Jesus. Hugo. Hugo hasn't said a word. Hugo is a huge fuck boy. I hate him. Hugo has a punchable face. LMAO, guys, back off. What do you do? He hasn't said anything. Everyone on the count of three, he please seems, hold Yeah, up he seems one of the only three, friendly people two, left. I kind of like Hugo. You guys are mean. Oh, okay. Okay. I like it. So our two captains are going to be... Shane with the green team and Gabriel with Hugo's the blue just team. just a dude trying to be a bro, living like a homie, all right? Yeah, I'm the like, Hugo is not me, though. Out of a no, blind Hugo is not me. I get the blue ball. Captains, please come down. Shane and Gabriel. Shane, since you are the green team captain, you get to make the first choice. Who would you like to select? I feel like that one fucking meme of like, and like one dude like standing up bravely. It's like, what opinion has you in this position? I think Hugo's all right. I don't think Hugo deserves the hate. Although he does wear tank tops every single day. But I mean, if you had these fucking cannons, would you not? Sexy Hugo. Hey. Wow. See? I like it. Somebody Hugo gets it. Win, Sexy Hugo. I like Shane again now. Gabriel, you're up next. I gotta ride with Miss Monet. <laughs> All right. Oh. I'm going with JR. That's my guy. <laughs> Give me time, you guys. Oh, don't pick I'll the Chris. Don't pick the cripple. With Olivia. <laughs> I mean, not in general, but for an athletic game of of bobbing and weaving, I don't think that's your best pick. I'll can we say cripple? Cars. We can say cripple, no? You can't say cripple. Damn it. Can't say cripple. Can I Google it? You still say... Oh, well, wouldn't you know it? They are no longer considered appropriate. I see. I see. Okay, well, I just want everyone to know that that's not the context I meant it in. This is good. No, this helps me, actually. You're going to pick the impaired guy for your team? Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, I'm going to keep this on a tab just to save for myself. Let it be known that I have educated and learned, and I'm a new human being. You're really going to pick the impaired guy on your team? Ready! Aim! Pull up a uke. Guys, I don't have a uke yet. I gotta buy a uke before I can do it. Oh, what a nail. What a nail by Cole. One blue out. All five of green team is still in play. Oh, Gabriel! Gabriel, you are out! Are they getting decimated right now? Oh, there we go. You are out. They beat our ass. There is no more defense for the blue team. Here's what happens. Gabriel's know, team JR's loses, out. and then you pick Jane Maybe to go down out. with you. Olivia's out, and guess who's left? Let's go, Jane, you got it. Not stopping. There's no way it's happening. Untangle it, Jane. You're tangled a little bit on the left. I'm older. I am perceived as much slower. Untangle, untangle. <laughs> oh. That's a crazy way of saying that too. I'm perceived as much slower. Are you much slower or not? Is it perception or are you slow? You just tell us. I'm a target shooter. <laughs> like, I'm actually very well skilled in aiming right, let's see it. Come and on, baby. shooting. She's trying her best though. Come on, Once Jane. it shoots though. Once it shoots, then it's desperately. perfect. Jane, come on, baby, get one. Oh. Okay, she's got some shot. Jane, I need your feet! 
got something. Oh! 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 Ah! Dialing it in. Help. I feel like this is like 30 minutes gone by of just no one hitting them. Oh, Gabriel was team captain, so he's got to pick somebody else to go down with him for the guess off. Wow, putting Gabriel in the bottom two. Again. Again. The team that knocked down their opponent's headshots the fastest was the green. Yeah. Winning the challenge means that I get immunity and it gives the house some time to fight a new target. It's actually great for her. She really needed that. Gabriel. You are officially in the bottom two, and you will be at risk of becoming our next guesser. And what's worse Again. than that, you now have to select one of your fellow team members to join. Oh, I wash my hands. Who oh, are you going hands. to choose? I have to do Miss Jane, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, baby. You Heel backstabbed my boy Trav Gabriel last time, but me. yeah, good pick. I truly do good feel pick. like I know a little more about things than everyone thinks I do. If I can confirm a few suspicions I have, they're going to be very surprised. Well, now it is time to reveal the losing team's clues. Bam. These clue reveals are in the form of headshots with a little extra detail added in. Just a little bit. Up first is Gabriel's clue. Man, I'm extremely nervous because if people figure out that my celebrity relative is not an athlete, that ruins me. Oh, shit. I love these backdoor talks because they give us more information that we never knew. I was kind of on board with that the entire time. So not an athlete. That's better for me because I don't know anything about athletes, so now I can guess better. Gave me look hilarious. Uh, what, what's the logo on the shirt, though? Definitely Dallas. Is that over? Yeah, I think Gabriel is like a Dallas Cowboy. His logo was on his shirt. I was thinking he was like a preacher or like a pastor or something, but I think he's a football player for real. All right, Monet. Yeah. The driving crooner? The driving crooner? Uh, I have no idea. I don't know, fedora and a lightning cloud. Next up, JR's clue. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> what? Baby what? chef. A pacifier. <laughs> chef? Baby, no, there's a pacifier, like baby. Next up is Olivia. Wait, the movie The Pacifier with Vin Diesel? It looks silly. <laughs> Aliens, hospital. Oh, Ramsey. The doctor. Last but not least, Jane. I need a notebook for this show. Oh. Why put a dog collar on? Oh, no. What do we say again? It was Anka. Well, Gabriel, Jane, it's now time for you to start strategizing on how you stay in this competition. I think we're going to find ourselves in a similar position in the guess off where people would want to keep Jane, unfortunately. I think they're going to vote for Gabriel to vote again. Or because Jane knows more, do you vote Jane to get someone out? So actually, if they were smart, they would vote Jane. Even though they hate her, they know she knows. So why not vote her, get someone else out? All my homies hate Jane. You might think I'm just being randomly antagonistic towards Jane, but lest we forget, she let Travis cry in her arms and then immediately turned and told everybody Travis's secret. I can't let that slide. Congratulations. Thank you. We got a powwow. Y'all ready to be mixy? I'm ready to pow. I'm in the bottom two once again with Miss Jane. Shane has immunity and she was guaranteed in my pocket. I just don't want to shoot in and be wrong. We know. Gabe is dreading <laughs> having to be the guesser. He's not super confident on anyone, crap? and we don't want him to be in a space where he's uncomfortable and he ends up going home. You have the numbers on your side mm -hmm. for this? Yeah, it's only a seven vote, because you can't vote. I'm not worried about Hugo. All my homies love Hugo. The plan is to hopefully put Jane as the guesser. But even if Jane is wrong, somebody's going home. And that's always a win-win. Yeah, my name is my new favorite. <laughs> like, Chris yeah, was a ahead. fucking idiot. It's just crazy though, like, it's Shane that got that immunity and it threw everybody off. You would go to her immediately. Of course. Of course. And everybody would. You have to choose a sure thing. Yeah, if you're in the hot seat. I think Shane was a few people's sure thing. 
And now that's off the table. Now we have to start racking our brains as to who else we are certain about. You have nothing else? I've got a couple of things. Which, who would you guess? I can't tell you. My other option is one that I feel will make you the snake. house very upset with me. <laughs> and that's Hugo. Hugo has been in my back pocket since day one. You can't fit him back there, he's I'm huge. Present. His two truths and a lie were quite interesting. My celebrity relative is my grandfather. Like a crazy uh, award, He is right? best known for being an athlete. And his highest award is a Nobel Prize. Wow. Ooh. I'm about 80% sure that Jimmy Carter does have a Nobel Prize. If you asked me right now to choose, I would have to choose Hugo. Damn, Jane is kind of smart. It makes me mad that she's smart. I know I have value for some people, and I terrify others. If I am the guesser, none of them are 100% sure of what I'm going to do. Let's play. <laughs> I want her gone. Take her out. Table topper. I don't care what you have to do. Take her out. Do we need to eliminate her, or do we need to keep her out? He grows my voice, so I don't want to put him in that position. I don't want to put either of them up there. Here's the other thing they got to be thinking too, though. So you got to know that Jane is going to get somebody out if you put her on that board. And they're probably thinking, it could be me. So put Gabriel on there because he probably doesn't know. Jane knows everybody's pretty much. Winning the challenge means that I get immunity and I get a clue about somebody in the house. So having that kind of power. Here we go, chat. It's useful. time to use those super sleuth abilities. Okay. Who's she going to pick? Gonna pick? Maybe picking someone who the house collectively is curious about maybe Nicole, someone Nicole, like Carson. Nicole. Give us something right on Cole. I pick Carson because out of everyone in the house, people Am have- Am I crazy? Who's Carson? Who's Carson? A questionable man. Are those record players? I mean, I would give you guys this fucking what? clue to analyze, but does anyone remember who Carson is? The mouse? Oh, Carson. Yeah, she was short, dark black hair, and she talks to Chris the most. She couldn't sing in the talent show. She has not been talking a lot lately, but she was that girl. Okay, spelling bee minus, spelling bee minus, what, records? Okay, music, grab a beer at the bar for four people. I mean, this just sounds like a good night out for me. And yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Racer, E, racer. I don't think that's right. Trophy race. I think we're not doing great on this one. Usually people are spamming way more messages, but I don't think people are getting this one. Okay, that's all we got, but good job on trophy racer. Help. Helps. I would go ahead and prepare to probably be the guesser. I am. I am confident on the day. That's her. That's her, by the way. Her hat, the fedora that Steve Harvey always wears. And the big ass thing that says family. And then there's all the games on the board. But oh. family could also be for Vin Diesel for JR. See, that's the one that threw me. Why does everybody open up to Jane is my question. Everybody, every single time they get hints, they open up to Jane. She's gonna get everybody. You get up there, you guess her, you're right. Boom, the duo is split up. Right. Then we go into another challenge, make sure Shane doesn't win, and then boom, Shane's the next one. Carson is really pushing for me to pick Monet. It's possible Monet is related to Steve Harvey. But I feel like that's almost too easy. We don't have enough clues to support enough that I could confidently guess Monet. I really would like to get rid of some scary people. I want to redeem myself with you. I feel like garbage. I got scared. I know you're just freaking out. And I'm sorry, Monet. You have to. Monet is a person I could absolutely see myself in the top two with. So I made sure to apologize because so I'm hoping she would trust me enough to show me the clue. So fake. Are you willing to let me see it? I tell you what to say right now. I was just mad at Jane a little bit, but she apologized. So I was like, maybe you're about to be the guest tonight. Let me go ahead and share this clue with what you. What is everyone doing? I, she's got to be the most powerful here. She's collecting clues of everybody. Everybody's giving it to Jane. Because they're so scared, so, Jane's going to pick them. Puppy love shirt and Russian leave seven teas. Seven teas. Something seventies. I'm not sure. 
I think I might be able to figure it out. It really is the ultimate boss. I hopefully will have the answer for who Chris is in my hands because I'm still a little unsure about Hugo. Jimmy Carter's children lived in the White House with him. Hugo's a little young to be a grandson to a person who is 95 years old. No, is he? Maybe, I don't don't think he is. With today's challenge, I have this light bulb go off in my head. Listen, this is why it makes sense. Orchid? Tootsie's Orchid Lounge is a really famous All Anka, it's place obvious. I never like knew who that was until Chad told me, but it's obvious. Collar, blue collar, nine to five. Blue collar worker. That girl is related to Dolly Parton. Yeah. Oh my okay. gosh. It was the bird. Now that's what I don't so know. Okay, people were saying well, Dolly Parton be before. Hold on, we don't like say called it. This isn't proof. This isn't proof. Hold on. She told us before the puppy love. Is did puppy love have anything to do with Dolly Parton? Oh shit, she actually smart. Okay, if you guys all think so, then I guess fuck me. I looked up puppy love and it said it was Paul Anka. Dolly Parton has a puppy love song too. God damn, it was her first single. Okay, then I guess it's obvious. No. Tell everybody in the house you know who it is. I don't care. It don't have to exchange it. Don't use it as leverage. Tell everybody who Jane is. You have to. You have to spread it like wildfire. You're your best leverage is making sure everybody in the house knows who Jane is. Oh yeah, just be prepared. I might end up guessing because for a lot of people that's safer than Jane going up and no one knowing who she's going to pick. But I'm not 100% sure on anyone. Or how to say the name. You're never 100%. Yeah. But just the, the clues that we got from the challenge. Not dumb. <laughs> Mama Jane is Dolly Parton. So those made sense for Dolly Parton. Yeah. Hell yeah, tell everybody. If Gabriel tell everybody. gets voted as the guesser, I need him to have yes. all the information. Yes, Chris, you're finally playing right. Pick Jane. She's finally, Chris. Before. She's you were so dumb before. Her. I need to think really hard to figure out Chris's clue. The clues I've heard are something about a dog, something about love, something about 70s, and something about rushing, Russian. Fresh. Oh, you look adorable. Come here. Is she related to strawberry shortcake? Who is it? A dog rushed in and left in the seventies. Yes, that's what it is, right? Do you know if Monet pulled Michael? Oh. He's from Memphis, Tennessee. In seventies, it's gotta be that. Take the I shot. Gotta stay in there tonight. So if we can vote Jane, let Jane throw a Hail Mary. I'm worried, dude. If Jane is the guesser, I might be going home. Good job. I'm fairly certain I know who Chris is, and now I have to make a choice. Do I guess a person that I was hoping to keep around longer to save my ass? Or do you go? It's like the most sure thing that you can do at this point. Let's get her is out. Is it? We back here, y'all. Hell yeah. Dick's the moment, ceremony. I plan. At this moment, I have my fingers crossed that I am not the guesser tonight. If I am the guesser, I feel like I would call Jane, but I don't have enough concrete evidence that Dolly Parton is her celebrity relative. On the way from that seat to that podium is when I'm going to have to make up my mind. So I have a person to guess now, and I'm very person. confident. Welcome back, everyone. You all know why we're here. It is guest off a clock. Guest yeah. off a clock. Bottom two, how are we feeling tonight? Two weeks in a row. Yeah. Crappy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just hope the house remembers last time and think it's somebody else's turn. Gabriel and Fair. Jane, the rest of your fellow players will select one of you to be tonight's guesser. I mean, let's be guess real it. here, dude. Fucking Gabriel, if he doesn't get a guest now to go, like, he's making it pretty far. Because they still think he's celebrities and athletes, so he's chilling. And Olivia, no one gives a fuck about. No one's even asked for any of her clues. She is so chilling. We'll be selected by secret ballot vote in our infamous Voto Booth. Must choose a- the guesser will be safe and move forward in the competition. But if they get it wrong, the guesser will be packing their bags. Monet, you're up first. Please make your way to the Voto booth to cast your vote. Ah, okay. Ah, this is so tough. <laughs> I did share some secrets with Jane, and she figured the secrets out on her own. And I think it's gonna shake the room tonight. Jane's my pick for the guest. Yeah, you should all pick Jane. Everyone should pick Jane. You know, it's gonna be a toss up on who Jane picks. I hope she loses though. I really hope she loses. There's word that Monet has pulled my clue. That scares me. And I'm wondering if that's circulating around and getting back to Jane. She's stirring the pot. Oh, that's Donnie Osmond's kid Let's for sure. I choose Gabriel as the guesser tonight. 
Putting Jane in is a huge risk because she's a wild card. I have no idea who she's going to vote for, and that honestly terrifies me. Hope you get it right, you know. You got it, girl. You got it. Two of my favorites. The smile and Mama Jane. You gotta love them both. But tonight, I'm sitting in to be Who the guest. Who are you? Who are you? Gabriel, Jane, please take center stage. The player in the hot seat tonight is. He's gonna be in the final round of this Jane. show, Cole is. Jane, yeah. All right. Fuck it up, Jane. Fuck it up. Jane flop. Jane okay. flop. Tell us. Mess this shit up for Travi, for Travis. Who is your target? Now we're gonna have a commercial break again. I love you all again. so much, and I'm so sorry, and this sucks. My target is Chris. Okay, oh no, they need a commercial break. Oh God, oh no. Don't you fake cry on us. Don't you fake cry on us. I'm so sorry. So this is a big moment, because Jane, if you can get this okay, right. Okay, try to look really like John Mayer. Like, try to look more like John Mayer right now. She might fuck up. If you do get it wrong, you will be sent home and will have no choice but to reveal your celebrity relative. I've been identity. disappointed last week. Don't disappoint me again. Good luck. <sighs> and she fucking winked at him. Who do you think is Chris's claim to fame? Chris? Please fuck up. Please fuck up. Please fuck up. Please fuck up. I think your claim to fame is Elvis Presley. I think we're good, baby. I think we're good, baby. I think we're okay, unless she's really smart. Yeah, I'm on Donny Osmond train. I think she fucked up. I think we're saying peace to Jane. And that is some therapeutic justice. I will be so heartbroken if she somehow still gets it over Donny Osmond. We're chilling. I'm so chilling. I'm not even nervous. Elvis Presley. He's smiling. He has a smile. I want to see a smile on his face. I want to see nothing. Oh, he's completely so. Oh, Hugo knows. Hugo's so happy. Well, let's take a look at the screen and see if you got it right. <laughs> Hugo's face, dude. <laughs> okay, she's wrong. She's wrong. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh. Celebratory drink. What does that mean? What does that mean? Jane, unfortunately, your guess was incorrect. Chris, congratulations. You're safe and you are staying in the competition. When I hear the name Elvis Presley, I literally melt. What a relief. So bad. That's scary. Uh, Jane, <laughs> what made you believe that Chris's celebrity relative was Elvis that Presley. That is exciting. Monet showed me Chris's clip. And you fucked up. How deeply cathartic it is that the way she got out was because she thought she was so smart. Don't you love to see it? It was her detriment. She was too egotistical. People gave me so much information, but you can be sure and you can still be wrong. Well, sadly, we are left with no choice and it's time to reveal who your celebrity relative is before we say goodbye. And we think Dolly I can't Parton. Wait. <laughs> I love them so much. Everyone, Please take a look and learn Jane's claim to Dolly Parton or Paul Anka. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. oh, that's Dolly Parton. That's amazing. That's crazy. That's crazy. Damn. Oh and Dolly Parton's God. so cool. What happened? She's my everything. She's my everything. Well, we have a little message for the way you. They talk oh to you. God. She can't trust Dolly you anymore. Parton. I am Dolly Parton, and this is my niece. Jada Star. Jada. Hey, Jada, I am so proud of you. It's been a joy watching you grow up. You know how much I've loved you and how close we've always been, being your aunt and all. So proud of you, girl. Jada. My name is Jada oh, she Star. You can do named, that? You I just change born. your name? This is why I wanted to be here in the first place, because I wanted a chance to tell the whole world that she is exactly what you hope she is. Well, I have met your wonderful aunt, and so I can see her in you. Kevin one ups her. Well, I have met her before. That is a lie. She is the worst in person, and I see her in you. <laughs> That's why you came on the show, to spread that message. Also, random, but really funny to think about in retrospect. Now that we've had three weeks, they had a video from her relative, talks very nice about her. Remember last time we had Travis, had Neil deGrasse Tyson had a video sent in as well. Remember back to week one with Tom Hanks? I don't deserve this. I should have more camera time. No video. Carly barely knew Tom Hanks. He did not send in a video for her at all. Thank you all so much for having me. 
love you. I love you. I love you. I love, you. We do. I love, we love each you. and every one of you. I got further than I ever thought I would. I really was in it to win it. However, how can you hide a superstar like Dolly Parton from anybody? Fair enough. I still don't Anybody's trust her. Game. Ever. Good night, everybody. Good Dude, night. Chris is so chill, and now, goddamn. Wow. Good for him. It worked out the way it was supposed to. Shane and Monet were that clever to make sure that she guessed incorrectly. I'm just glad Chris is still here. Yeah. Shane and Monet cannot be trusted. And moving Same. forward, I, would I think be everyone wanted Chris over Jane. All right, baby. And that was episode three. I love this show. It might be my favorite reality show I've watched in a while, to be honest.